The Constitution and the National Objective and Directive Principles of State Policy demands that every citizen should be patriotic and loyal to Uganda and promotes its well-being as part of one's duty. Okay. Yet according to the Patriotic Division in the Office of the President, many Ugandans have not duly expressed love for their country. There was some gentleman who was calling our country a dog on airwaves that is really unacceptable. Masiko now wants the Immigration's Office under the Ministry of Internal Affairs to confirm how patriotic one is, especially during the interview session before one is issued with a national identity document, including passports and the long-awaited national identity cards. You, 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 you are a holder of the Ugandan passport. The basic, the basic requirement which is even in the constitution says you should respect your national anthem. So I, I, I would look forward to, to that day when the, the, the controller who is uh, checking uh, asks you to recite the anthem. Even though this has been welcomed by the passport issuing body, officials here argue that whether patriotic or not, it still remains a constitutional right for one to receive a passport. What, uh, Masiko is saying, I think he's right. Uh, although we are not going to make it a law that you must be patriotic before you get a Ugandan passport, I think we can move ahead to find out from this intending applicant who intends to have Uganda passport. What he or she knows about Uganda, maybe for example the national anthem. Masiko's patriotic proposal has also received mixed reactions from the public. I do support it. Because as a citizen, at least you have to know the national item and the colors of your, the flag. Like now, if you don't know the colors alone, how can we prove that you're a real citizen? I find the minister, even when he doesn't know to sing a national anthem, now if such a person can't, how about this person in Moroto? Somebody deep in the village, in Kanungu? People don't know. So, I mean, if one is born a Ugandan, why do you have to make him to prove himself to be a Ugandan? His team has also embarked on a nationwide campaign in different schools and communities to promote patriotism through the establishment of national patriotic clubs. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.